Blockley thought he could put him in inside the five yard line and he got a big touchdown out of it. Now Nittany Lions turn Wallace from the five. Check it that was Williams who switched to that side. And Williams is out to the 28 yard line. And Juice Williams has to be excited with that opening drive for the Alina. And Kirk that's the first points that Penn State has allowed in the opening quarter this season as Royster makes his way to the 30 yard line on that first down carry. They line Williams up in the backfield. Trying to get him some extra touches as they take Worcester out. They're going to swing it to number two, get him in a foot race with a defensive lineman, and he steps out of bounds. He is out of bounds. You can see where it's marked right there at the 34 yard line. This is funny. You see Derek Williams, who is a high school quarterback. You know who's chasing him here? His high school receiver, Will Davis. Wide receiver chasing his former high school quarterback and showing some pretty. Maurice Evans, number 48, you saw in your picture. He's a very talented defensive end. All Big Ten team a year ago. Third down and three now for Clark and the Lions. And they move the chains. They put the ball in Graham Zug's hands. The sophomore from Mannheim, Pennsylvania, picks up the first down. Well, Derek Williams does a nice job of taking Britt Miller to the outside. You'll see Miller right here. When he leaves, the receiver will come in right behind him. And because the, the other linebacker, Wilson, is late in getting over, there's a nice void there in the zone and a very easy throw there for Daryl Clark. A lot of time. Shipley the center, Ornberger and Wisniewski the guards. You could see that pocket held up. Clark had all day. Now Royster comes back in the game for 11 yards and another first down. That's Penn State football right there. Brent, you touched on it. One of the best offensive lines, not only in the Big Ten, but in the country. And there's the zone read look that Penn State has not shown much of. In fact, coming into this game, they haven't shown it at all. This Gerald Cadogan, number 76, the big left tackle. He was moving a pile on that side. Beautiful fake. Clark keeps it. Wants a block downfield. And he's picked up another first and ten. And the Nittany Lions have moved to the Illini 30. Now the backside lost contained Rodney Pittman. The read is actually here, but watch Pittman get sucked in. Makes it very easy for Clark to get to the outside. Again, they have not shown this all year. It's the first time. Now Illinois, their defense coordinator, Dan Dish. Darrell picked up 15 yards. And it is first and ten. There's Clark pulling back now, looking downfield, complete. Butler just short of the 10-yard line, and another first and 10 for the Nittany Lions. Well, now we're starting to see this whole package from Galen Hall. We saw a zone read, and we saw him hand the ball off. This time, zone read, we're going to see play action pass. Backside, Butler is wide open. This is what makes this offense so tough to slow down. He can hand it off, he can keep it himself, or he can pull it back and throw it. It puts a lot on those linebackers and safeties. A courageous throw. Britt Miller, 44, closing in. Clark took a hit on the release. This is Royster stepping behind the fullback's block to the five, stumbling, first and ten, first and goal. A nice job up front, and also, how about the fullback, Lawler, the big fullback right there, picks up the block on Wilson. And I tell you, the more I watch Evan Royster, the more I fall in love with this kid's ability to run. It's kind of a traditional Penn State back, balance, vision, toughness, stretching for the extra yard to get the first down. Let's see if they come to the left. And there's a flag prior to the whistle. Offside. Half the distance. Number 94 on the defense. Half the distance for the goal. Repeat first down. A great drive. Kind of took the crowd out of the game. And here comes Daryl Clark in Penn State. Straight ahead with Clark. Touchdown. The Illinois touchdown. Moving behind Darrell Clark's quarterbacking. 
And he showed you why a lot of folks around the Big Ten are saying, uh oh, Joe Pa's got a good one in number 17. Just talked about how we're going to learn a lot more about Daryl Clark facing adversity for the first time. <laughs> and as he said, he answered the challenge. Kevin Kelly. Seven off. The last six plays for Penn State. Five first downs and one touchdown. We're even.